Good morning, America. Mm. You hear those birds? See that sun rising? Coronavirus is on the hunt. Watch out, people. It's coming to your town to get you. The silly part is it's actually been here probably for a long time already. You know, like it has been. Of course, different strands or whatever they want to call it. But I actually know someone very personal that was in the hospital. They couldn't figure out what he had. It was almost like pneumonia. It was pneumonia, they thought, or whatever, at the end. But it's funny because he was hospitalized. And they weren't sure if he was going to be. This is like probably November, December last year. Maybe December. And the funny thing is, it's all these symptoms and things that they're talking about now. I'm telling you, this thing has been here, been here, and been here. <laughs> they're just now talking about because, of course, they don't want people to freak out. It started getting out of control. So they had to make it known. It's just insane, people. But I'm still here today. And here to talk about God. The God that is one God. Not these religion gods. No, no religion gods. So many people. I mean, I'm not against other religions either. Because I think that we all have a key point to God somehow. I think we ought to stop fighting about it. It's a problem. Start doing as we're supposed to, which most religions tell us to practice. Uh, except for a couple of hateful ones, maybe. I don't know. Is there hateful ones? I don't know. You know? I mean, I've never met a hateful religious person personally. So, that's all I can speak on. Um. God is definitely, at this time right now, in control, regardless of what the politicians, the people say, what we say. It's just really sad to see so many people at this time going through so much, and the stress levels, I'm sure, just are crazy. And a friend of mine, he... You can talk about stress and how to deal with that, but you know it's, and I like his advice very much. So, because there are there are ways that stress affects us so much as a as a people, even you know how we treat each other, how we walk about the day. I mean, we weren't created to be like this. We weren't created to have all this and to deal with all this. It's you know God. Remember, God said He created us in His image. We're, we're in his image. That means we're powerful. We're creators. We're, we're people who can make things. And, and why do you think we have so many different things? Technology and advanced, you know, look at cars and look at, I mean, just so much stuff. The way they make buildings nowadays. It's not like the old brick and lay. Now they got these concrete walls they put up. Boom. Done. You know, and it's just we're, we're always seeking to be the best and, you know, we're taught that most of the time. And today I just want you to be the best for somebody else. And that's my point today. Be the best for somebody else.